So you want to start a fast growing YouTube channel. But my friend Tom was in your shoes not too long ago and I want to show you exactly how he was able to get this one video to over 50,000 views in less than 14 days and fast forward 12 months, he's now been able to go full time on his YouTube channel and racks up over 6 million views. And one little secret about this video that kickstarted everything is that when Tom posted it, he only had 57 subscribers. But of course, the first couple of videos Tom posted failed worse than these chicks trying to pretend they've actually been to a beach more than once in their lives. Now, Tom's goal was to grow his YouTube channel as fast as possible while avoiding as many mistakes as possible because he was stuck in his nine to five sales job, which believe it or not, is not as fun as they say. And the slower his channel grew, the longer he would have to spend wasting his life away in this job that he hated. So he got out there, started posting some content. I wanna show you the first three proper videos he started posting to his channel. So the first one was this game Genshin Impact patch 1.3 update. As you can see, this video did not do very well at all. Even today, it still only has 67 views. But more importantly, in the first, say, 14 days of when it was posted, it's only had 12 views, which must have been incredibly depressing. The second video Tom posted was another Genshin Impact update kind of news style video. And you can see this one actually did even worse. So this one only got 65 views. And in the first 14 days of it being live, it was at about nine views. So it hadn't even cracked double digits. So the third video was somewhat similar in style, but a little bit different. It was actually about an event that was happening in Genshin Impact, which is the game Tom's channel features. And um, you can see this video actually did a lot better. So in the first 14 days, it got around 200 views, which is pretty damn good. And now it's sitting at around 700 views. It's flatlined for a while since it was around a trending topic. So it wasn't going to be an evergreen piece of content. Content. But you might look at this and go, well, that's a, still a pretty decent video. And that's true. However, when you actually look at what this really did for the channel in terms of subscriber growth, not much. We gained one subscriber from creating this video. So in total, the three first proper videos created here, over 30 minutes of content. And as a result, Tom got a whopping two subscribers. Now I wanna show you what Tom did to turn this around and blow up his channel. But first, I want you to know that if you're experiencing similar results to Tom, you should know that this is completely normal. Often people like myself like to interview and talk to creators who have blown up their channels, sometimes seemingly overnight. And that can lead to excessive and exaggerated expectations. You might compare yourself to people who have got, you know, 100,000 subscribers in one month and be like, wow, what's wrong with me? And the truth is there's nothing wrong with you. Just because you're not seeing results on your channel right now doesn't mean that you're horrible and you're never gonna succeed on YouTube. Even someone like Tom, you'd look at his channel and think it's a pretty cool success story, but some things you might not know behind the scenes is, for example, he joined my course when he had 100 subscribers. So he had help and support guiding him through this process. It still took him a year of posting content very, very consistently to get to the point where he could go full time. So don't beat yourself up, compare yourself to where you were yesterday. And now that we've got that record set straight, I wanna show you how to improve and get results so much faster. It's a strategy I like to call micro quitting. Society nowadays is so against quitting. Quitting is almost like a taboo word. And while if you really wanna be a YouTuber, I agree, quitting YouTube as a whole at a macro level is a bad thing to do. And I'll show you proof of that in a second. But you also don't wanna keep doing exactly what you're already doing. Cause chances are you'll just keep getting the same results. You wanna look at your videos objectively and scientifically, figure out what it is that's working and what's not working. Then stop doing the things that aren't working and keep doing the things that are working. And gradually over time, your videos will get better and better and better and it will be an exponential curve of growth. And I wanna show you how Tom kind of implemented this micro quitting strategy. And the things that he quit that resulted in his channel blowing up because I think these problems will probably be very applicable to your channel as well. The first massive mistake Tom made is that he didn't pick a niche. Now he didn't suffer from this problem for too long, but as you can see, out of his actual first three videos in terms of when his videos were posted, only one of those videos was about Genshin Impact, the game which is now his niche. The other three, one is about an OBS capture card kind of tutorial thing. And then the other one is an editing tutorial for an editing software called DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, those videos didn't perform very well and they probably confused the algorithm and the audience a bit about who Tom's channel was actually for. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you have to pick a niche and stick to it for the entirety of your YouTube career. But when you're starting out as a small channel, you definitely get an advantage if you pick a niche. And if you're not sure whether you're in a niche or not, a litmus test can be asking yourself, do the videos you create now attract the kind of person who would want to watch 
all of the videos on your channel. For example, does someone looking for an OBS Elgato capture card tutorial want to watch a Genshin Impact patch update video? Well, there might be a very small percentage of people who are, well, probably not. So what that's telling us is these two videos belong in separate niches. The next massive problem Tom had was his audience retention. In other words, how many people actually watched his videos all the way to the end after they clicked on them. And if you go into your videos analytics and scroll down, you'll see a graph that looks like this. As you can see for Tom's first three videos, even though he only got 60-ish views on some of them, you can see a very clear trend in the data here. Check this out. Look at this line in freaking freefall. By the time this 10 minute video reaches 30 seconds, almost 80% of the viewers have left. They've decided it's not for them. When I pull up my calculator here because I'm too dumb to do math on the top of my head, you can see 53 out of his 67 viewers left the video before they even reached the 30 second mark. Again, look at his next video. He's done a little bit of a better job here, but still 65% of viewers gone within the first 30 seconds. And even on his video that actually ended up getting 700 views, look at this, well over half of his audience gone within 30 seconds. And you can see here, even YouTube is politely telling him, hey, your video intro sucks. These three videos here, they rely significantly on trends. And when it comes to creating videos like this that blow up because of a trend, one of the most important factors is to be early. You want to take that first move as advantage. For example, if we take a look at this video, it was posted on January the 27th. So if we go to a website called Google Trends and we type in Genshin Impact Patch 1.3, which is what this video is about, and we hover over this massive spike in the graph where you can see whether the most amount of attention for this particular topic was, you can see that it peaked between January 31 and February 6. However, what's more important than what we want to look for is where this trend actually began. And if we look at the beginning of this kind of monumental spike, we can see it began somewhere between January 3rd and January 9th. Now, Tom posted his news update video on this topic on the 27th. So by the time this trend began and Tom actually posted his video, there's probably a multitude of videos that have been posted on that exact same topic in between that period. And so because the demand for that topic had already been satisfied by heaps of other YouTubers already creating videos on it, there was no reason for YouTube to promote Tom's video. So you might be wondering, well, Marcus, how do you fix this? You'd be early. You want to take that first move as advantage. And the last massive thing that we worked on with Tom is to improve his thumbnails. The thumbnails on his initial video, it's kind of hard to read them and actually see what's going on at this zoomed out rate. The text is kind of not bold enough. It's too small. It's kind of in this weird font that almost blends together. And when you think about it, how many viewers are on mobile? How many viewers click on videos because they're recommended to them on the sidebar of a video where the thumbnail is very, very small? Good in terms of being eye-catching, but also communicating the information and why people would actually want to click on this video at any level of scale. Now, obviously we worked on a bunch of things, but these mistakes were the major ones. And when we were able to fix them, as you can see, Tom's channel skyrocketed. And so I wanna show you what fixing them actually looked like so you can hopefully take these same principles and apply them to your own channel. Now we looked at the before, I wanna show you the after. This is a video Tom posted, it got 150,000 views plus 12,000 watch hours, over 500 subscribers, just from one single video. And potentially what's even more impressive is that this video was actually around a trending topic, so it died off, meaning that it got the majority of its views incredibly quickly. In the first 14 days, it got over 128,000 views. Now, first let's look at the retention of this video. We can see that around 75% of his viewers are still watching at the 35 second mark. So he's only losing about 25% of his viewers, which is pretty good. And you can see YouTube is actually commending him for it here. And not only is his intro much better, but even after the intro, he's still been able to retain people at a pretty good rate. As you can see, obviously the graph declines and that's normal, but it doesn't drop off massively later. It's a steady decline, which led to a pretty decent average view duration of four minutes and 40 seconds. Let's watch the first 10 seconds of his old video and compare it to his new video.
What's up guys, Super Tom here. Now compare that to this. I remember when we kind of waited for Level 4 in Azuma to come to explore the wonderful Electro region. And yet now we're basically three weeks away. Notice how much more engaging the second one is. He cut out introducing himself and just focused on the topic of the video. He added in some jokes to actually evoke some sort of emotional response from a viewer. Hopefully a laugh or at least a smile or at least a... <coughs> Also, notice how many more pattern interrupts or significant visual changes there are on the screen within that 10 second period. If you actually just count the visual changes, on the new video there are 8 significant visual changes in the space of 10 seconds. In the old video there's about 3 and a half. Also, Tom's put a bigger focus on trying to seize the first mover's advantage and be early. He's used trending tools, he's used keyword tools, and on the thumbnail front, check this out. This text is monumentally easier to read than the text on his previous thumbnails. And beyond that, the text actually adds to the intrigue of the video and works as a nice combination with the title by saying, do this now, as opposed to patch update. And so you might be wondering, well, how did this video actually work out for Tom? Well, I think pretty well. This example video we've just been going over got over 150,000 views. And as a result of posting videos like this, Tom was able to go full-time on his channel after just a year of YouTubing. And if you want to hear Tom share the exact advice he would give to someone who wants to follow in his footsteps and go full-time potentially in less than a year, check out the video on the screen. I basically sit down with him and ask him exactly that. And what he has to share is gold.